Hi there, it's Josh Colbeck here for Advanced Coupons and today I'm coming back with a new tutorial for setting up a loyalty program on your WooCommerce store. So it's a new feature that we've just released in Advanced Coupons and I wanted to take you through with a quick video today just to show you the basics of how it works and um, how you can go about setting one up on your store. So a loyalty program is, uh, is something that's really, really good for encouraging a few things with your customers. First thing is repeat orders. Um, people that are earning points with you are more likely to come back and, and convert and again and again and uh, want to earn more points with you. The second thing is it also increases the likelihood that they're going to convert because earning points is a good system for um, encouraging orders. So when customers earn points, they are more likely to actually make an order. So with those two things in mind, um, let's go and have a look at our loyalty program feature and I'm just gonna show you how it all works on our little demo site here. So I'll go into the back end here and what we need to do is go into the advanced coupons settings area. Now advanced coupons is a extension for WooCommerce and it has a loyalty program feature built in. It's not the only thing that it does, but it's uh, one of the new features um, that we're pretty proud of and we've just released. So uh, what we need to do is come in here, click on the advanced coupons tab and it'll land you on this modules page. Now this determines all of the different um, features that are on in your, um, in your advanced coupons installation. So the one we're looking for here is loyalty program. Now loyalty program isn't actually switched on by default um, when you first open up the, um, the plugin, when you first install the plugin. So you'll have to come in here and check this little box and hit save changes. And when you do so, you'll get another menu item here up the top. And this is where you configure all of the different things in your loyalty program. And this tells, uh, tells the system how your loyalty program should run, how it should work. So there's a couple of things here, and I did write a, a blog post fairly recently about um, four of the most important um, things to get right about configuring your loyalty program, uh, which I'll link up in the show notes as well. Um, but I'll just take you through them quickly here. So there's a few things you need to define. So price to points earned ratio. When somebody makes an order, you want to determine how many points that person is going to earn for every dollar they've spent or every euro they've spent or whatever currency that your store happens to be in. Um, so in this case, you want this number to look kind of impressive because for the customer to want to earn those points, they need to feel like they're earning something substantial. So the more impressive you can make this number look, generally the better. You don't want it so high that it's unbelievable, you know, spending $1 and earning a thousand points, you know, that would actually be unbelievable. But in uh, most cases, you would want something like a, a 10 ratio here. So for every, um, every dollar spent, you would earn 10 points. And you can control the worth of a point with this next setting here. So the price, uh, the points to price redeemed ratio. So when you redeem a point in the system, how many points do you need to exchange as a customer? How many points do you need to give up in order to get $1 of value back or one, one unit of currency back? So in this case, I've set mine to 200. So I've got a, uh, an earning ratio of 10 points for every dollar I spend and a spending ratio of 200 points for every dollar that I want to spend. So by tweaking those numbers, you can kind of adjust the amount of discount that you're going to be giving your, your customers for their future purchases. Now there's a few more settings here. Um, you can set your points name, so you can call it you know, baby rewards or doggy treat rewards, whatever you wanna do, um, you can do that. You can set uh, specific user roles to not be able to earn things. So this is handy if you've got wholesale roles in your, in your system. The other, um, the other two I mentioned before, there were four, four um, four main settings that you had to get absolutely right. You gotta really nail them right at the start of your, your loyalty program setup. And these, these next two are the last two. So minimum threshold to earn points. Now this determines um, how many, how much they need to spend in a single order before they're allowed to earn points for that whole order. So the, um, the power of this is to basically give a threshold for that person to get over in order to be able to earn points for the entire order.
So what you're doing there is, is setting a threshold and that should be roughly around the size of your average order value or just above because you want to incentivize people to earn points by making a larger order. Now, the next one is the minimum points allowed for redemption. And the way this would work is um, by setting, I'll set mine to 500 there so that uh, actually, you know, I'll set it to a thousand because that means they have to redeem at least $5 worth of points um, or they can't do it at all. So they need to have earned a certain amount of points before they're able to redeem that for a coupon. So those two settings there are, are um, probably the other two most important ones. Now the, there's a couple of messages here um, which will control the messaging throughout the site, on the cart, on the checkout, on the single product pages. You can tweak those to, uh, however you like. You can use this uh, points template tag as well in the messages. Um, so you can go ahead and tweak those. And the next part is the actions for earning points. So by default, um, you always earn uh, points for purchasing products, but you, make, you can turn that off. You can um, turn on and off these other options as well. So you can give people bonus points for registering. Uh, you can give people bonus points for completing their first order. So there's a few, few little things there that, um, you know, can, can give you some extra incentives to get people to complete certain kinds of action. And we're going to be adding to these different action types. So there'll be new ones coming down the line. Uh, things like leaving a review on a product um, could earn people extra points and various other things as well. So once you're happy with all of those settings, just hit save changes and that's your loyalty program all set up. So what I might do is just open up a, a, a fresh incognito window here and this is just gonna be, give me a, a fresh browsing session so I can come in here and actually test the thing and show you how it works. So let's set, so I'll just review my settings. I don't have any minimum threshold for earning points. So I'm going to actually add a number of um, products to cart here. I'll just select a few different ones. Let's make a, sub a substantial order. All right. Let's go visit the cart here. And you can see straight away on the cart, it tells you how many points this order will earn. So let's go through the checkout. And because I'm on a test site here, I'm just going to log in. I'm going to log in with my test user. <clears throat> And now that I'm logged in, that will earn me test uh, earn me points for my my test customer here. So let me put in some fake details here. And I'm just going to pay with the cash on delivery uh, payment method. And this order will earn me 2,160 points. So let's go ahead and place the order. Okay, so now my order has been received and what we need to do is just go into the orders here. Because I use that cash on delivery um, method, it's probably still stuck in, in processing here. So I'm going to complete this order. And that is now completed. So let's go back here to my test account. <clears throat> and we'll have a look at this my account area. So you'll notice on the my account page, there's actually a new section called my points. And this shows how many points the customer has actually earned. Now you might have noticed this is actually given extra points because it, uh, it detected that it was the first order for this customer and added those extra bonus points. So now if we want to uh, redeem some points, what we need to do is make sure that we're redeeming at least the minimum. So to redeem points, you need a minimum of a thousand points and one point is worth one cent. So they have uh, $15 and 80 cents worth of points here. So say if they wanted to redeem uh, say 2000, so that's a $10 um, voucher or coupon code that they're going to get. And when you hit redeem, it goes into the system and it will make a unique coupon, which will give them a $10 discount on their next order. So they can automatically apply that from there if they wish. 
So that's the, the basis of the, um, the loyalty program system. And uh, it's all about earning points and giving your customers uh, the incentive to use those points uh, in your system. And it's a different kind of discount. It's not your usual, you know, here's a 20% off coupon general kind of discount. This is a unique system and something that will actually get your customers engaged and, and interested in shopping with you over the long term. And uh, we always love that as, as store owners. So go in there, explore the loyalty programs feature. If you want more information, just check out advancedcouponsplugin.com. There's an address in the little description below if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you are on YouTube, um, just hit the little bell icon there as well. Um, I think it's over this way. And uh, that will alert you for any new videos, any new to tutorials or anything like that. We're always doing these little videos here uh, to show store owners some extra tips on how to grow their stores. So thank you and have a good day.